भद्रम करणे भी शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये माक्षभिरंगुष्टवांसनुवी व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्ध श्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्व वेदा स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षो वरिष्ठ नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओम शांति 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 वेर स्टडिंग मांडुक्य कारिकाज गॉडपादर्स अँड इन द आगम प्रकरण वी हॅव टू स्टडी टुडे द फोर्थ मंत्र बट लेट अस गेट द कनेक्शन प्रॉपरली इन द फर्स्ट मंत्र वी वर टोल्ड दॅट इदम सर्वम वॉट एव्हर वी एक्सपिरियन्स इन वॉट एव्हर वे is not real in itself it appears to be real because there is a reality at the back and then it was told that quite a bit of details of this are always necessary and they provided by telling that past present future and tekalati all are same unreal in it themselves and appear real because there is a reality at the back and there in shankar's commentary had found that om being the name of brahman all this is om means om means brahman but it was told with emphasis on the world being unreal so seeing that what happens that the reality of brahman becomes dependent on the negation of the world which is not covetable brahman is real always whether we know it or not brahman is real always and there can be some other method wherein we feel brahman first and then think whether it is transcendent or immanent we feel brahman as all pervading example ninth chapter of the gita maya tatam idam sarvam jagad avyakta murti na masthani sarva bhutani na cha ham te sho avasita na cha masthani bhutani so first i i means bhagwan is talking so it is brahman i am i am pervaded i have pervaded all this world in a non manifest form of mind so i am in all the world and all the world is with me and when we feel this and instead of the world we feel brahman then there is no world neither i am in the world nor the world is in me because there is no world at all so this is the way of feeling transcendent through immanent so the brahman cannot depend upon our negation of the world brahman is real by itself rather we are dealing with brahman night and day we think we are dealing with different objects but we are dealing with brahman so this is not a happy state and so the other side must also be told if brahman is transcendent 
equally well it is immanent equally well there is nothing else but brahman whatever appears is brahman and that is why we call brahman as one without a second whatever appears second third fourth is only form of brahman through names and forms forms are ever changing names are all om so that is the importance of the first part of the second mantra sarvam hi etat brahma he means nothing is real it appears real because brahman is at the back because brahman is everything all this which was told to be unreal is being told now as brahman so transcendent immanent is the reality now idam sarvam means idam sarvam idam sarvam means i also am included idam sarvam means i see this world i experience this world and in another way when you talk of the world i is included i is not outside the world but there is a special quality of the mind or the very characteristics of the mind it divides whatever exists brahman the mind divides it into a subject and an object mind divides the everything of our experience into i the experiencer and the things experience this is the felony of the mind this is the characteristic of the mind to understand this we use the dream experience as analyzed in waking state that in the dream i had gone to london now that london was made by my mind and that i which had gone to london also was made by my mind but with that i i am identified as the subject and with that london i am ident- a london for me is an object so this is the quality of the mind therefore even though we have talked about all the world the mind does not include i into it therefore the second part of the second mantra i am atma brahma and as shankar said the guru with a gesture maybe taking the disciple's hand and putting it on his own chest and this atman also is brahman so in this four sentences not steps eh? four sentences actually three but one is equal to two so in this four sentences the nature of the reality or our connection with the reality has been told the world is unreal whatever we experience in the world is unreal see feel touch imagine it appears real because there is a reality at the back and that very reality at the back is all this and this atman also is that brahman so what we have to do with this we have to try to experience the truth which has been told in four sentences now when we try to experience 
we will not immediately arrive at that experience desire. And so, what we experience should not be taken as the final experience. So, the third part of the second mantra, because in the second mantra, the statement of truth was completed. So, it should not lead us to wrongly think that by thinking of it, we'll realize Brahman. So, within the second mantra, we are told, <coughs> I am, so I am Atma Chatushpat. And Shankar has clearly explained that Chatushpat is not like a cow's four legs, but like the four units, which are parts of a rupee. One quarter of a rupee, half of a rupee, three-fourths of a rupee, and rupee. And there he also explained that in the very first part, uh, the first step now. So in the third mantra, we come to the first step. The what will happen in the first step? What will happen initially when we try to experience the truth told in four sentences? is that this individual I will be lost forever. We are not realizing Brahman. But we will become the cosmic gross personality. Cosmic gross personality. So that was described the nature of that personality. Jagarita sthanam asya iti. Jagarita, like individual's waking state, is the state of the cosmic gross. And Jagarita in individual we know when the mind and indriyas both are used whatever we perceive is called the jagarita sthana actually the funny thing is nobody can prove the existence of the external world we do not know we only know that we experience the external world. We are sure about our experience of the external world. Whether the external world exists or not, we do not know. So, when we use mind and indriyas both, we feel things are external. Whatever we experience through mind and indriyas both is external. So that is called Jagarita. Sthana means sphere, asya. So this person, person, because these are not theories, these are experiential truths. So when the fourfold formula is applied in meditation or when the truth of those four sentences is tried to be experienced, the first step will be this person. Which person? The cosmic gross person is in his consciousness like the waking state of the individual, that means his mind will be active, his organs will be active, and he will be feeling, I'm experiencing something outside me. Because when the indriyas perceive, automatically we feel outside. 
सो दैट इज कॉल्ड जागृत स्थान बहिष्प्रज्ञा एक्सटर्नलाइज कॉन्शियसनेस इफ आई एम सींग समथिंग अदर देन माय रियल नेचर आउटसाइड माय रियल नेचर दैट इज दी बहिष्प्रज्ञा सप्तांग बिकॉज द इंडिव्यूजुअल हेज वैनिश्ड इंडिव्यूजुअल हेज डिजॉल्व इन टू द कॉस्मिक सो द सप्तांग मीन्स हेड इज द दिवलोक आईज आर द सन माउथ इज द अग्नि the breathing is the cosmic air the middle part of the body is akash bahula the bladder is the oceans and feet are the earth seven saptanga ekonavinshati mukha there are 19 upalabdhi dwara ani experience involves 19 the we have to feed 19 mouths continuously always the five sense organs the five active organs the five pranavrittis and four inner organs man buddhi chitta ahankar that means we are not realized brahman though we have become cosmic how the man will appear he will appear extremely unselfish as if he is dying for others because in his mind they are not others shall i give an example have i given it of course when we try to give an example we will be given an example of the perfected man but this aspect of his life in shri ram krishna's life we have several such instances he was looking at the grass and somebody went across the grass and he felt marks on his chest as if that man has walked on his chest and when two sailors quarrel and were hitting each other he felt all those hits on his back actual and he had to cry and shout some ek and had a similar experience suddenly while talking he said there has been an earthquake in egypt those were not the days of radio or tv so after 7 days the news came that on such and such day there was earthquake in egypt some he experienced it on his own body now the experience which i am going to refer to is more lively living the first building constructed in the nagpur ashram consisted of three rooms one room shrine room second room hall both prayer hall and students room four indian tile courts 
were in the four corners. Prayer time, the boys would lift them and keep them outside. It was a prayer hall. Otherwise, that was the student's home. And third room, the Swami, my Guruji, staying, library, dispensary, everything. Office. Now, in winter, my Guruji had a blanket. In spite of the blanket in the midnight, he felt cold and could not sleep. Now, in the hostel for boys, two were brothers belonging to a middle class family. And the other two were orphans, brothers. So the first thought which came in my Guruji's mind was, what about the boys? And all these were connected by doors. So he entered that hall and saw the other two had their blankets, but these two had none. And the younger had gone to the elder's cot, and both of them embraced each other and were sleeping just to get a little warmth. Now my Swamiji covered them by his own blanket. Spent the night somehow, and some philanthropist or charitable-minded donor had told him that if you require something essential, please come to me. So next early morning, he went to his house, maybe three, four kilometers away from the ashram, and said, you had promised, so I have come. I want one blanket, one blanket. So he gave him immediately. He brought those blankets and called both the boys, orphan boys, to his room and said, Yesterday you must have got one blanket in the night. This is one more. Because to sleep, embracing each other is not hygienic. You should have separate blankets. So, both of you have blankets now. The story is over, but the questions are many. When he had felt cold, in spite of the blanket, now, without blanket, he is going to spend the winter. Because he did not ask for a blanket for himself. He asked one blanket, he gave his own blanket, so that the two boys will use blankets separately. So what is the solution? Understood? He felt the cold felt by the boys. He did not feel his own cold. So, cosmic gross body. Now, everybody in the universe might or might not have blanket, but they are under his care. So, that is how this cosmic gross individual happens. And we have seen that the cosmic Consciousness comes in two different forms. One is all the world is my body. Second is all the bodies are my bodies. And the name of all this. So we understood Vinshati Mukha, Ekono Vinshati Mukha, 
ಬಹಿಷ್ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ಸಪ್ತಾಂಗ ಸೊ ಸಪ್ತಾಂಗ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ಸೆಲ್ಫಿಶ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ no what is what he has to eat or enjoy or what he has to feed these 19 mouths with is called gross objects stula bhuk he is the eater of gross objects because the five senses deal with gross objects the five karmendriyas deal with gross objects the pancha prana vrittis are digesting the food and circulating the blood that is all gross objects mental thinking imagining is about gross objects so stula bhuk vaishwanara is his name in two ways as i told you that all bodies are my body all world is my body or all bodies are my body prathama pada my new that is the first step means it is a much evolved than what we are today the individual has gone who have become unselfish to the extreme but we have to suffer we are in bondage because we have to feed these 19 mouths and this is not the final goal of life so now we come to then what we have to do we have to meditate on the same truth in the new context truth has been described for fold so now no more further description of that truth but if this is prathama pada then obviously we have to experience apply it now idam sarvam has changed so idam sarvam om all this experience is not real in itself it appears real because there is brahman at the back and it is that brahman which is appearing like this and there the self which i am feeling is also brahman so we further meditate on the same fourfold truth then more spiritual evolution that is called the second step so this is the connection ah huh? and that second step is described in the fourth pad fourth mantra we read swapna sthano anta pragya saptanga ekonomishati mukha pravivikta bhuk taijaso dvitiya pada ತೈಜಸ್ವ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಾದ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ತೈಜಸ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಕಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭ ಆರ್ ಸೂತ್ರಾತ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ this is the taijasa of the vaishwanar it is not the taijasa of the vishwa and shankara told there itself that the individual is gone we are thinking of the universal and this also indicates that the individual settle and the cosmic settler identified 
because this is the subtle personality of the cosmic self. So cosmic gross will not come back as individual now. Gained is gained, but it is not ultimate. So the same truth was meditated upon and it has resulted in another step, not the goal. Dvitiya Pada. And so we understand it is the cosmic subtle state. Now it is comparable with our individual dream state. We can know more details about our individual dream state and we can then transfer it to the cosmic. So, Sapna is the sthana, sphere of this self. Now, what is Sapna? Individual, ignorant man, Ignorant man's everything, Om, means subject interacting with object, that is the life. Now, in this process, the body becomes tired first. Mind is not yet tired. So in the body style, what man does? He sleeps. But the mind is not yet tired. So it throws impressions gathered during the waking state are pictured on the mind. And that picture itself is throws as waves, mental waves. And how we perceive? Because there is a light, one's own light, inner light, so imbued. That is the individual sapna. Now here what happens, he is not using that individual body so much. But the experiences are similar in some respects. He has lifted himself above, so he is like sleeping. Second step, in the first step, he was perceiving Vaishprajna and waking state. Now, after meditating or after trying to experience the fourfold truth in that state, what has happened is he has gone to dream. That means he has transcended above the cosmic gross state. His perceptions are mental perceptions. Perceptions of the cosmic mind. So his cosmic nature of his consciousness has not gone, but the grossness has gone. Now we think of heavens and this loka and that loka or the Bhavarajya of the devotees. So there the body is not pursued. Impressions of the mind are pursued. And mind is comparatively inside. Comparatively, because it is different from the real self of man. But compared to body, it is inside. So, sapna sthana anta pragya. Consciousness dealing with inside, like our dream state, but cosmic. 
and that is the sphere, mental sphere. But inside, same, same, seven limbs are there. Mentally we perceive what we have seen in the gross world. So in the gross cosmic personality, I had my head, Dhuloka, my eyes, sun god, my mouth, fire, my middle part of the body, space, my bladder, the oceans, my feet, earth. So same thing there. From where? When I experience in the waking state, it appears I am seeing outside. There is also inside. But those impressions are gathered on the mind. And body has slept. Mind is active. So mind projects those impressions. And so all those things appear. And how it becomes real to us? Think of the cinema. On the screen, frame after frame is passing. But we see that continuous, that is because frame after frame is passing. But how do you feel that to be real? Three hours, 50 years have happened, but we feel that as real. Because there is a focused light from the back. That makes it real. So here, there is light of the self. If this light is not physical, this is consciousness as light. And so, all the impressions as you wake up and we see all the world as real. So, there we have these seven limbs. And there, again, 19 mouths are there. All the corresponding things are there. The, from the mind itself, five organs come out. Five Karmendriyas come out, five punch of pranavrutis come out. And inside of the inside mind, there are these manbuddhi chitta and functions. So that is the glory of the impressions. So there, that problem is still there. But we generally say, and it is true, that the bhogas of heaven are purer, refined, subtler. So, pravivikta bhuk. Pravivikta means extracted, abstract, extracted bhogas. And the name, why it is Taijasa? Because the grossness is not there, because the light is lighting the impressions. So everything appears to be lighted, full of light. So it is Taijasa. Mind you, it is Dvitiya Pada. So now let us see what Shankar says. Hmm? Sopna sthanam asya taija sasya sopna sthana. This is Bahuri Samas. So Shankar picks up the noun taija sasya. 
Sopna is the sphere of the this Taijasa. So Taijasa is called Sopna Sthan. The fellow with Sopna is its Sthan. No explains our daily dream. Jagrat Pradnyam, the waking consciousness, Aneka Sadhana, was using five organs and telescope, microscope and whatnot and all the 19. So it had various instruments Bahir Vishaya Iva Ava Vasamana. The perceptions were inside, but they were appearing to be outside through the Indriyas. So Bahir Vishaya Pragya Iva Ava Vasamana, appearing like. Manaspandana Matra Sati. Actually, it is only vibrations of the mind. Though vibrations of the mind only, the appearance is outside. Tatha bhutam sanskaram manasi adhatte. So the perceptions had led to impressions. Tatha bhutam, as per our experience were kept in the mind or pasted on the mind. Tan manaha, that mind on which the sanskaras have been of the jagruti have been pasted. Tatha sanskritam sanskritam means Carrying those impressions, colored, chitrita iva pato, like on a canvas you have painted some pictures, like that on the mind. Bhaiya sadhana anapeksham, now it does not require the external means. Avidya kama karma bhi prayamanam. What is the inner force? First is our wrong knowledge, subject object knowledge. Desires. And we have done some work during waking state. Prayamanam. They are prompting that mind. Jagrata Vad Avabhasati. So, we forget we are dreaming. Like waking state we are experiencing. The impressions of the waking state are on the mind. They are awakened. And that which was appearing outside was actually vibrations of the mind. And that itself now appears like the waking and we see them. This is Shankara's analytical description of our dream, everyday dream. And Shankar says, this is not my mental concoction. Tatha Uktam, it has been told in the scriptures, Asya Lokasya Sarvavato Matram Apadaya. This loka, this sphere of experience, matra, that means trace, taking the traces of this world's experience, he sees the dream. That is Buddhism. Iti tatha pare deve manasi eki bhavati. Where are the organs gone? They have gone under the Con within him who was controlling them, Dev. The Lord controlling them is the mind. 
luminous. Iti prastutya, introducing like this, atra esha deva sapne maimana manabhoti, iti atharvani, in the prashna panishad. Esha deva, this mind, he sees his own glory, own glory in dream. So that is how dream is defined. Indriya apekshaya antasthan antasthatvat manasa mind being compared to the organs inner tad vasana rupacha sopne pragya yasya and the impressions on the mind we are conscious of them now. So, iti anta prajna. Iti means so, he is called that, he has the inner consciousness. Because compared to the Indriyas, it is inner. Visheshunyayam pragyayam kevala prakasha sarupayam visheitvena bhavati iti tayasa. There are no physical objects there. Consciousness only like light appears as subject pursuing object. So it is called tayasa, light, light, light. Vishwasya savishetvena pragyaya sthulaya bhojyattam. Vishwa means individual man. Because of his external consciousness with some objects, so his food was external. Ye puna kevala vasana matra pragya bhojyaiti. Here only the impressions, the consciousness of the impressions is what is our food, what we are enjoying. Iti pravikta bhogaiti. So extracted is this bhog. Okay, Sapna Sanpura clear kargiya. Samanamanyat, he says, that means Saptanga and Ekuna Vinshati Mukha, he has not explained. He says, take them like the previous, the personality, cosmic, the feeding of the 19 mouths. So those defects are still there. But isn't it a great advance over that gross perception? Grossness vanished. It is heavenly or Bhava Vishwa, Gandharva Loka. There may be several steps in that, but Manduke does not occur. One step. From gross to subtle. Dvitiya Pada. Now what will happen? <clears throat> Same. We understand that is not truth. We understand the Atma of that is Brahman. We understand Brahman appears as all that. So, further meditate on the same fourfold truth in that state. So, what will happen now? Compare with our daily life. In our daily life, mind also becomes tired. So it does not project no desires, functions, because mind is not active. So in this third step, it is necessary because supta, a dreaming man also is supta. 
So within the sleep, it has to be separately shown than the dreaming man. First. So that is yatra, supto, na kanchana kamam kamayate, na kanchana sapnam pasyati tat susuptam. Because sleep is sleep, whether dreamy or dreamless. But the experiences are different here, totally. So it is necessary to specify the dreamless sleep. Instead of telling Sushupti is this time, but what is Sushupti? What difference it has from the dream? Or what difference it has from both waking and dream? So we dream, what is the difference? That dreamer is there. But he is not desiring anything. Why? Because mind has left. Here, that is similar to, huh? diagonally opposite. Because he has meditated upon this is unreal and Brahman is real. So the mental functions are gone. His mind, here mind is tired. Their mind does not function because of the illumination. So there are no desires there. And because there are no desires, there is no projection. We are told that these desires make mind project in the dream state. Now there is nobody to push that because we have gone above that. So there is neither desires nor seeing some dream. Projection. Neither desires nor projection. Why they are described in this order? First, desirelessness will feel. And then there is nothing projected also. Okay? That is the tat susuptam. That is called nicely sleeping. Susuptam. Because of the dvitva, the sandhi rule, make the second soil sure. sure. Now this susupti is the sthan of the being in the third step. So understood now. He is neither desiring nor projecting. The cosmic subtle, the variety has gone. No projection. Now it is Vaish Prajna, Anta Prajna, that also has gone. What has happened? Eke Bhuta. Unification of all the mental modification. Not gross, not subtle. Unification. Prajnana Ghana Eva. So that external and internal consciousness have become congealed consciousness only. It has become one. Mind has become not broken now, no waves now. Mind is unified. And so the consciousness has become congealed. Eva, only that much. Ananda Mayo. This one should understand properly. What bits of pleasure we get in waking and dream state. There is nothing called pleasure in the outside world. Nothing. Our nature is bliss, Satchit and Ananda. 
and this ananda percolates in sleep, in dream, in waking state. Now, it is not percolating. It is not dissipating. Neither through the indriyas nor through the mind. So, extreme happiness filled with happiness. This mind is not broken, not gross, not subtle. So mind is inactive or collected or whatever you call it. In that, on that collected mind, the bliss of nature of ours is reflecting. So it is extreme joy in this world. Our joys are filled with sorrow, always. Effort. Waking state, dream state, effort. Effortless joy is here. Effortlessness itself is the joy. The joy is effortless. Effortlessness itself is the real joy. So, Ananda Maya filled with joy. He, he means because it is like this. Ananda book. Then what is his enjoyment? Unbroken bliss. Now, we are thinking of deep sleep. Now, think of that man. Cosmic. No gross. No subtle. Ananda on the unified mind. Cosmic mind, unified. And so, enjoying bliss, effortless. So, what is this food? Only bliss. Filled with bliss and food only as bliss. Neither grass nor subtle. Bliss itself is the food. Then to eat that, 19 mouths were eating subtle, 19 mouths were eating grass. There they vanished. Cheto Mukha. The consciousness itself is the mouth through which Ananda is being enjoyed. We are conscious of Ananda that itself is the mouth. Now this Cheto Mukha has several meanings. One is this. Instead of 19 mouths, there is one mouth. But its face is towards waking and dream state. That is another meaning of the word Cheto Mukha. Cheto means waking, dream or waking. So tendencies towards that means if further sadhana is not done, you will come back. That is Cheto Mukha. So there, the dangers of feeding 19 mouths is not there. But this much danger is there. Terminal danger is there. Enjoying that bliss, you come down. Because the enjoyer enjoyed sense is not gone. So you come down. And name is Pradnya. Pradnya has several meaning. Prakarshena Adnya or Prakarshena Adnya. Prakarshena Adnya means only ignorance about the real nature is there. Its ramifications are not there. And Prakarshana Adnya means the reality is not seen. 
ಪ್ರಕರ್ಷಣ ಜ್ಞ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಜೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿ ಕಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾದ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಫರ್ದರ್ ನ ಹಿಯರ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ is required and shankar will do that okay so commentary of the fifth mantra next wednesday om <clears throat> badram karne bhi shrunyam deva badram pashye maksha bhir yatra tirai rangai stushta vamsa stanu bhi veshe ma deva hitam yadayu swastina indro vruddha shrava <coughs> ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷೋ ನಿಷ್ಠ ನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣ